Liam, a frustrating night out there all round. Take us through it from your perspective. Yeah, very frustrating. Um, thought we started the game pretty solid. Um, they was on top, but now I thought we defended well. Um, and then the sending off, it changed everything. Even though we got through to half time, we knew it was going to be difficult. Um, we wanted to get 10, 15 minutes in the second half to straight them, but when they score such a good goal, it, it swings the momentum. And yeah, it's, it's difficult. It's such a big pitch and such a long time to try and get back in the game, but with 10 minutes, it's very difficult. And literally, as you just said, it's, uh, it's frustrating, particularly because of how well you defended in the first half. I mean, yourself and the back four and Vito were probably the busiest people on the pitch, but um, how do you feel you dealt with them in the first half? Um, pretty well, yeah. Um, we've changed a few things. Uh, we're defending our box in a different way. Um, I feel like it's working in terms of the first half, definitely showed that. But like I say, when the spaces are so big with 10 men, uh, it's very, very difficult and, and pressure told. And yeah, we've come away with, with nothing and, and a 3 0 beaten. And that first goal was only after about a minute of the second half. So uh, when the plans at half time go out the window like that, how do you readjust to it? Very difficult um, because they were doubling up down the sides, um, dragging our wingers back. We were trying to play 4 4 1, but it ended up at times, you know, with our five, um, five with the the, the wingers tracking and, and one isolated up front with their back four break, the rest of the three staying in place it was very very difficult and it was hard you know wanted to spend the break but they sat deep um, and everything that went up there just came straight back and obviously we wanted to get something out of tonight but I suppose the solace is that they're not, not really in the same fight as us this season and it's uh, quite easy for us to try and just put this behind us and look forward to Saturday now we have to um, we know exactly what went wrong today yeah, the red card was probably the most obvious thing. There's other things that we could have done better, um, but Saturday's going to come around so quickly. We've just got to put this one to the side um, and yeah, go again, pick ourselves up, and, and go again Saturday. And just a word on Preston as well. They were uh, they doing really well this season. They're just on the edge of the playoffs. They're a tough side to beat. But um, how would you assess uh, their challenge on Saturday? They've had a very good season. The manager's gone there and done a very good job. Uh, they're a tough team. We found that out early on in the season. It's a game that we, we know we've got to win. Um, we'll get all our preparation as best as we can and, and go, go into the game Saturday full of confidence. And how much confidence will you take from the QPR game on Friday, especially with the uh, the atmosphere that was generated with ASP on Friday? First and foremost, yeah, the atmosphere was huge for us. Um, we need that again from the fans, definitely. Um, and I understand that, that that's got to be replicated by us as well. You know, We need to show that fight and passion again and we need to show it for the rest of the, the, rest of the season. Um, but yeah, there's confidence to be took from the win and uh, if we can do all them things and maybe add a little bit more quality as well, we've got a very good chance. And just lastly on the fans, um, with how much would you like them to replicate what they did at QPR on Friday and uh, bring them back for the last three games this season? Definitely, yeah, but like I say, it's a two-way thing. Um, we need to show the fight, the determination and the willingness like we did um, and if we do that, then I'm sure the fans will be there and they definitely understand. You know, It's as simple as this, the fans will always be there. Uh, it's their club. Um, we respect that and, and yeah, they'll be there with, us, with the fight as well.